Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. I think this is about episode 31, something like that. A um, few changes since last time. Um, I don't intend to make this particularly long video. I've got a few things I want to share with you. Um, so, the first thing, I have my runway working. Uh, just checking up past 38k coming in consuming 7k so that's charging these batteries I have had to throw some coal in there just to get that up that we're running flat that's why it's so high and um, yeah so changes let's go and see what changes I made as you might notice down here you can see some things I'll explain what happened my suit is quite badly damaged and I'll explain why in a second let's just leave the um, greenhouse so uh, some parts here these are part of my wind turbine. Um, they're not, not left of my wind turbine. As you can see, it's a bit beaten up and battered. Um, kind of broke. I've also, oh yeah, trains, lost two of these smaller wind turbines. The reason being this bugger. So I got the I worked out how to get the plane to land. This is a big jumbo one. Uh, it needs a 7x7 land pad. Um, so I got him to land. But in doing so, he hit my wind turbine. Smashed it to pits. Took out two of these as well. Um, he also managed to damage me because I had this going uh, straight across here. Actually, I didn't. I had a, a waiting point on the runway for. Um, taxiway there so he came down here and he stopped facing that way and I couldn't get him to do anything so if I let him go we just go down to the end there and go around in circles so I tried to change this um, to this corner piece but as soon as I took the um, piece out he decided to leave and he turned around and I was stunned underneath him at the time so he whacked me quite hard which is why I suffered all this damage I'm lucky he actually didn't kill me so yeah my, my suit took quite a hammering um, sorting out this and once he took off I was able to put that down and I call him back down but when he came down he did hit my um, wind turbine so how to get this bloody runway to work so I, it, it drove me mad I've never done it before I wasn't sure what I had to do um, you notice there's nothing on the end here now I previously had a computer and a small dish and that up here um, Plus I had three um, threshold markers. Turns out you need one threshold marker. Um, I don't know if this is the best way to set this up, but that, this is working for me. So now the threshold marker goes all the way down with the taxi um, running this. Taxi lines running this way round, um, back up to here. And that's the way the plane will follow. We follow this taxi, so I don't really need that. They're just there for um, the aesthetics of it don't need this taxiway on this side they will follow this main one down the middle then round and into there and I thought that the plane had to stop on the runway and it doesn't it actually needs to be connected to your main landing pad hence these bits here and then the landing pad the, the taxiway turns into these like taxiway bits on the main landing pad to the center point and he ends up back at the center point on the landing pad where everything else lands so they need those connectors so that's a big thing for this if you're making a runway it needs to be connected to your landing pad with a route from landing to your center of your landing pad this is why all this has been put in here now previously remember i had some um, roof bits in here so i couldn't actually build the runway on them i had to take all that out i had to fix all that and make that now uh, frames solid frames um, I had to put some more frames out this way and put my let's runway mark I call it um, I, I used to work in a military on instrument landing system ILS that looks a bit like a, an outer marker which is a just a marker that tells the plane he's on the right approach or and do the runway and how far away he is but anyway that's, that's I'm calling it the marker and you have to set this up so one of the things I'd let me just bring up my tool belt one thing that was really throwing me is if you hit this one here with a screwdriver it puts a big arrow on and it points to where the plane's going to land 
and it was pointing the wrong way and I couldn't get it all, all sorted out so um, yeah it was only once I got it all connected to start working properly um, on here we've got a uh, trader waypoint which is the center point of my landing pad uh, where he is at the minute and on this one I've got to set current height to 1 so again if I bring that up you can by just left clicking on it move it up and then holding down C and clicking on it move it down and because that's the one below where my runway is I set it to 1 which I believe means that it, the plane's going to land on the end of the runway there if I had it high it wouldn't land properly or something like that anyway that's how I've got it set up so that height matches the runway height this doesn't need to be at the runway height probably it's a good idea to have it in line with your runway um, and then have the set to your trade away point yes landing pad center point now I've connected all this back through again oh, that, why's my light off okay so I actually bypassed this um, transform I don't need it there um, it was uh, causing me some problems because I couldn't connect to uh, this network, this threshold and that weren't connected to this computer the um, communications ditch or ditch communications ditch or the uh, landing pad uh, controller and once I got all this connected together got my only one remember only one threshold with a route using taxiways to my landing pad center it all started working so yeah that, that's how to get it working so marker somewhere not in line or in line with the uh, runway I think I think that's what's gonna be uh, don't have it here because if planes come in they can hit it um, so yeah have it either further out it can be further away or have it just below it and set that level to one so it's it's saying at what level compared to it the threshold is I believe that's how it works I could be talking completely the bollocks but this is how I've got to work for me and now my runway is 20 long and 3 wide which means I think it can take pretty much anything so yeah now that's the runway working guys and as you can see you put caught it I've called down quite a big plane and how that appears on here is um, as you can see it's just shows as a plane icon which means it's a runway uh, so that was the other thing that was confusing me it's saying that 15 is how long your runway needs to be and a 7x7 seven seven is how big your landing pad needs to be I was like well why does it need both what's the reason for both and the reason is it needs a 15 long runway to land and a 7x7 seven seven landing pad as a, as a staging post basically where it can park so that's why it's got two numbers there um, anything else you see the other ones just coming in flying in and flying out uh, so yeah so they both appear on here um, on here we have a um, landing center I don't know what the other one's for I've not tried it I've switched to see if it does anything well you did move um, and then a large dish when you have the other dishes they appear on here but to be honest that large dish is everything I need one problem I did have is I, I cranked the power up to 12 megawatts on this but oh, where is it? Is it down there? Can't see it from here. Down here, the transformer, the medium transformer I had down there was only 7 megawatts. So every time I tried to uh, call down the, the plane, the power up here went off completely because it was drawn more than 7 megawatts. The radar dish, the communication dish, it was killing my power. So I had to just up to 15 megawatts. I think it's 15, 14, 15, something like that. And now all works. So this is all working now to get the plane. So you have your computer with the communications um, card. You have your landing pad uh, controller and power. They're both connected to your computer. You have a satellite dish also connected to your computer. You have the run rate threshold all connected to the same network. And your runway marker again Power all connected oh hush all connected to your computer and then you have the one threshold three wide i'd say a minimum of 15 i think it's 20 because that's the longest it can be 
with uh, taxiways, you see taxiways illuminating, with a route back to your landing pad. And again, this needs to be to um, back to the landing pad centre. When it takes off, you turn around. So I'm going to get rid of them. I'll just get dismiss them. There are things I want, but I'm more interested in showing what's happening at the moment. So what's that? I can't mushroom. So I just turn to depart. You'll see what happens. Turn around, and yeah, he moves fairly quickly. So he's following the taxiway, walking well out of his way, and now he's going to go down and take off, and he's gone. Wow, why don't my rockets get into space that quick? That's what I want to know. Okay, so that's how to get your runway working. I hope I've explained that well enough. As I can see, all these lights are flashing, indicating everything's going. To the centre of the landing pad there, that centre point. Um, what else did I do? Oh yes, I um, I did some tweaks to my um, Stirling engine. Uh, it's again 761 watts at the minute. Um, I increased the... Where are they gone? I had increased the number of radiators. I appear to be missing three for some strange reason. That's a load glitch. That's got to be a load glitch. Okay, well, there were, there were six big radiators up here. That's weird. I've not had that happen before. Helping to cool my room inside. I have to go get some air. Um, let me go and get some air. And print some more radiators. I suppose the easiest way. Yeah, I'm running out of there quite rapidly. Weird. I wonder if they were damaged by the storm. Did they get damaged by the storm? How did a storm come in? Um, not long ago, and I don't know if that damaged them or not. Um, food and water. I made some more bread just because it gives me uh, the water bonus. That for some oh, and my cocoa's growing. Yeah, my cocoa uh, is now producing. Oh, that's a seed on that one. Good, good. That one, that one's just all growing poorly. I don't know why that one's growing poorly. They're both in the range for the light, but I don't know. Let me just grab some water. So slow. There we go. Um, let's take that seed and we plant it. And what will we get from here? Three cocoa. Okay, so now it just goes back. I don't know why he's grown so badly. Um, let's put the cocoa in here just to keep it. Although it doesn't look like it decays. There's no. Oh yeah, it does. There's no. There's no decay bar on it. Oh, it says one day. We'll decay in one day. Let's keep it there. So we've got cocoa growing now, as long as, as well as sugar. Right, what was I doing? Fed, watered, battery, that was your thing. Um, suit battery, quickly. And... Not that one, that one. Light battery. Now turn my light off. Right, um, close helmet. Lock. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think we can get rid of quite a bit of this for now. Um, I don't need you on me at the moment. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need glass. I do.
This slot can go in my recycler. Might as well try and recover something from it. Um, radiator kit. I want three of those. Uh, my rocket, I've actually built four fuse largers and an engine. Um, so I need a um, avionics unit. And I need solder, and I've got solder here. How's Amy doing? She's not stuck. Uh, numbers aren't moving very well. Oh no, she's moving. There we go. She must have just been mining. The avionics unit. I need... Um, shoot umbilical. Oh, I've got one radiator there. Okay, I need two of them. Shoot umbilical. I need a gas umbilical. What's that? Oh, it's a small radiator. That's why. Okay. That will do for now. I do need another one of these. What else do I need? A gas umbilical, a power umbilical, for the moment I just want to go and sort out my Stirling engine I'm also gonna need some steel sheets damn um, okay this input that's the output so I need that that way that way. That way. That is far. I wonder if it's a plane took them out. Sugar. It's funny it was M3. I think it was a plane that took them out when it came in. Are you damaged? No, it doesn't look undamaged. Condensation's happening in the pipe. That's the other thing I need. So I need some more steel. While I'm here... Where are we? you on oh, it's in the grinder because I'm not connected you that's why you're not on that helps So that there didn't do any good. Um, wind turbine, wind turbine, wind turbine. It doesn't look like I've got anything out of that. 
Let's just go, go get rid of the rest of the wind turbine through that back through the recycle. Let's see if we can recover anything from that. I doubt it, but we'll try. Angle grinder required. I should know it's angle grinder. Yeah, no, it's just gone. There's nothing there. Okay, um, that didn't work. I didn't recover anything. Ah yeah, so the other changes I made to allow for the, the runway and everything. As you remember, this was one higher in here. I had to fill all this block in um, and bring this roof down. So I've put, brought this roof down now and I've missed a bit there. It was meant to be a bit of roof ceiling in there, like the white. Uh, I've moved all the signs onto the floor so you can actually see them still. It's actually, if anything, it's a bit easier to see them. Um, so all that's done. Uh, but I need steel and 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 Bilical, take him with me. Crumb what else I needed. That will do. Let's have a look, just to fix this one quickly. Right. Now some pipes. So that's through there, through there, through... Oh, I know what it was. Um, the drain. I need a drain on this system. This lift does save a bit of time. So let's quickly get a drain. Iron. No iron. No. Um, take that. I'll not start venting at gas yet. Purely because uh, I want to work in the Sterling engine room. And it gets bloody hot in there. Cancel the cooling. I don't know if I'm going to need to when I build two. up we go. So where to put them? I can stick one here. And I've filled that with radiators, I've filled that with radiators. Um, um, it said around here didn't it that it was Filling with fluid, stick one there. Now hopefully there is li uh, liquid in the pipe output. Let's have a look, see what's going on in here. So it's NO nitrous oxide, which is draining away now. Okay. That's just because I used. Uh, some external atmosphere to fill the system with so once that drains away it'll be fine and that's just yeah it's slowly going away now okay so that's that done so yeah so got all this cooling on here assuming my plane doesn't destroy it on the way in now where's the other little radiator there it is waste well, not want not and stick it on there it's all part of the same network I had a link in here just to pressurize it like I said somewhere from the outside um, now you see this here, there's an active vent leading to a normal vent being controlled by an IC. So what that's for is if the pressure inside here, inside this room, gets up to 200 kilopascals, it vents it out till it's down to 150 kilopascals. But at the same time, if the temperature is above 100 degrees centigrade or 373 degrees Kelvin, it'll draw cool air in to help cool this room. Uh, so the, the pressure takes priority, so if it's over pressured, it will always get rid of the pressure before it pulls cool air in. 
which would save for some an overpressure problem. Let's close that. This is now a manual door. Um, that was the other thing, when I opened this I had some bits in here, I opened this and a blast sent the bits flying into me, which also damaged my glasses and my helmet. So yeah, have to wish what we're in here. Actually the pressure's quite low in here. Being here that's going, I'm producing 410 watts and I've literally got nothing else running in here. And no gas being fed into this as such. It's just whatever's in the pipeline. This is a back pressure um, valve set to 3 kilopascals. I had a pressure one in there before the wrong one, so it's blowing everything out. I needed the back pressure. But to put the back pressure in and start getting better about power output from my Sterling engine. So that just gives a bit of pressure differential. Um, you see here we've got temperature on the hot side 472. That's just what's in the pipe work. Uh, temperature on the cold side 384. Um, Environmental operating efficiency 93%, pressure differential 31 because it's, it's not particularly high. The the pressure differential needs to be higher than that. So if we go to close this and vent the gas back in, that's pushing the back gas back in that room. And then I can open this door. So I'll do two things. First of all, I will come down and not ideal because it's day, but I'm going to grab some nitrice. Quickly get in there before uh, sublimates away. Uh, so that's that, and then let's start venting this gas. That valve's open, so that's all going through to the Stirling engine. And I'm only doing 10 litres a minute out the um, furnace. Just a slow bleed off from the furnace and you see the power's going up. Let's close that. Open that. There's pressure in here. So let's get some more pressure in here. Just drop the nitrice in. If it gets too high just blow it out. See the temperature got above 100. That turned on to blow some cold air in but that's cooling everything at the moment. And you can hear this engine's actually going a bit faster now. Pressure is in here is building up. Just set that melt away. There we go. So now up to 153. Temperature is 81. It will start going up. So 82. So it's starting to go up now. 83. So the temperature in this room is going up, which will heat the gas in here. Uh, but we're now getting just over one kilowatt out of there from 10 liters a minute of gas from our furnace. Um, that should be heating these. Yeah, 78. It's actually uh, sitting around about 80 degrees. So 80.7, 80.9. Eight, it is going up slowly, but that's because we've got so much cooling on the roof now try and suck the heat out of this room. Um, pressure in here is what, 156, 87, that's fine. It was getting like 600 degrees in here. Uh, yeah, it was getting a bit ridiculous, so uh, it's working a lot better now. Let's close that, let the gas back in. I just want to keep the pressure in there. Pressure helps control the temperature. And a nitrice is quite a good um, of the nitrogen gas. It's quite a good gas for doing that. So yeah, so that's that sorted. So we've got the Stirling engine sorted. I don't know if I remember telling you I put a display on the outside to just tell me what power we produce. So one kilowatt from that. We've done that, we've done that. Um, all that's really left to show you is that uh, I've been starting rebuilding my rocket. I haven't got very far. So here is a load of fuselages. Um, that's what I need the steel for. I have the base fuselage down and the engine put in a pressure gas fed engine. My pipes are still groaning because they're 49 kilopascals. Um, so yeah, I just want to build some fuselage.
like so. Um, where is my... Is that the electrical? No electricals at the top. So I don't need my electric connection. We get inside the structure, it'll be easier. Is that right? There, I reckon. Which means my shoot. Should be there. And the gas. Should be there. So let's just do a quick double check. One's extended. Why have you not extended a same height? Have I cocked up the height? Yeah, I think it was too low. Why have you not extended? Maybe you're. Why you, you look right place? I don't know why I'm extended. Directly under. Then no, I'll sort that later. Um, I need to put some more bits in there anyway. I just need to uh, retract. See what happens. because you're... no, it shouldn't matter about you. I'm not, I'm not controlling you, am I? That's just direct control to the... umbilicals. It, pull it back, and send it out. No, I'll sort it out later. I'll sort it out offline. Um, it'll just be something stupid. So anyway, we've got to start building our new spacecraft. Um, that's a access bridge. Don't need that. That's pipe work. Don't need that. That's the wrong engine. Um, obviously, I've got my avionics unit here, and I will need that put in there at some point. I will need some batteries, some tanks, some pumps, um, miner, scanner, and the controller. So there's still quite a lot to go in there yet. It will take me a little while to get everything built into that rocket, but that's what I'm going to be doing offline. I think just building the rocket up offline. You've seen me do it before. Uh, maybe it's when I come to start putting bits inside. Bits inside, I might run through that again, just so people know how it's done. Obviously this is a, a pressure fed engine, so it's two inputs. Um, I'm just going to connect them together and feed it with a mixture of normal gas. or well, normal 60-30 um, fuel, which worked fine for me. I just got to remember not to leave the rocket in space until the battery runs out. So yes, that's that done, that's that done. Um, we've sorted that. Sorted that, sorted that. 
got a runway working. Got a Sterling engine working. So yeah, um, that's it. That's all I want to show you guys. Like I said, runway is working. Just once again, just run through it. Marker in line with the door, the door step, the threshold marker. Um, with a taxiway that leads it's right the way around. Bump, bump. To your landing pad center. Now this is the way it works for me. You could have this, to be honest, you could have this uh, right at the end there. You know, you could have the, the, or the runway coming in from over there and that center line coming in this way and that's your 20 um, 20 segments of runway coming in then in the landing but I have seen it done like that uh, but I, mine's off the side so I'm just using the taxiway to lead through to the landing pad markers to lead to the center and then everything else connected together so yeah yeah your threshold yeah runway marker your landing pad, your landing pad control, your computer with a connect um, comms card in it, and your satellite dish. And hopefully that should work. What have we got out there at the moment? Not a lot. And this dish is so slow. <laughs> it's good, it's got a lot of power, but my god, it does take a lot of time to, um, to lock onto a signal. Well, not lock on, so just to transition to a new position. So I've moved up by three, it'll probably take about a minute. So yeah, I'll just leave that disease for now. Put some tools away. So we've done all that, we've done all that, we've done all that. Um, so yeah, um, I'll do some more bits offline. Um, I do need to replace my wind turbine, it's really good for harvesting energy during a storm. I'm actually put two out there. Um, and I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with my um, smaller wind turbines when I'm going to move them again. I have put a bit along the edge here so I could mount them up here and then away from the runway and I may even have to look at moving my runway over one so it doesn't damage my um, Stirling engine room. I think that might be what the problem is. The um, can I get this way? Do you think I can anymore? Can I? Oh, yes, I can. I built the door. Yeah. It's still going. Yeah, I just think my runway is a bit too close. I may just have to move it all over one. But that means moving a few bits. Uh, like vents and things down here which control the atmosphere inside my greenhouse so I need to think about what I'm going to do but just I'll, I'll check I'll bring another plane in if it wipes this lot out again then I will have to move it so yeah it's annoying oh and I did have to build number Amy I'm now in Amy number four Amy number three got stuck um, stuck in here again don't ask me how, actually, this one. I got, I've got no idea how she got up in there, but she got up in there and got stuck. And I couldn't get her out, and then the wind damaged her and she died. Or well, she got destroyed. Um, she is up working again now. I just sent her out not long ago to a new site. Let's go find somewhere else for her to, to mine. was just over here actually. She must have mined it out already. Um, there's a load of coal there. There's a load of iron here. Let's go for the iron. So minus 50, minus 53. Minus 50, minus 53.
confirm export and off you go alright guys thanks for watching uh, please hit like and subscribe please don't leave any comments below I do have a Patreon page if you'd like to support me which I'm running a X4 timeline series on I need to upload a couple more videos of that I just realised I uh, I wrote three videos back to back so X4 timelines don't you find that for some reason halfway through the first video the game audio dropped out you could hear me but you couldn't hear in the game audio no idea why that's what happened so uh, I'm going to have to redo them but yeah I'll get those uploaded next day or so uh, and for now guys it's Dragfire Gamer wishing you good night